What's up guys, before you do anything, pause that video, click that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and make sure you stay up to date with all the videos. If you haven't seen the last video, be sure to check that link down below and make sure you check it out. Now y'all know I'm always finding the Camaros. Let's see what happened here. See, that's why you don't buy cheap rims right there. Damn. They got hit pretty hard. I know this had to hurt. They got hit pretty hard. Wow. Cool color that was on the Wow, look at this Fast and the Furious joint right here, though. This looked like it was straight out of Fast and Furious. Purple little Integra. Little Cadillac. They got some wheels on there like they was like, like they had this thing fast or something. Let me make sure there's not a, a V of any sort. Okay, it is the V8, that's for sure. I don't know, it's locked up. They still got the, uh, that Camaro here, guys. You want it. The SS is still here. SS still here. They got a 4 Series here now, a 4 Series Grand Coupe. But the, uh, the frame is bent, you can see. It's kinked right behind there. Gonna need a lot of work on this one. Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't waste my time on this one, but this is a nice car to, to mess with. I like the four doors, the new four series cars. It's nice. The four door coupes, those are all nice. They have a Shinka RX, uh, RX-8 for buy now. I forget the price. I believe it's like 1800 or a couple grand or something. Door is kind of messed up, but I mean, you might be able to get a good deal on it. But I don't know, I just don't, I'm not really into doing body work like that, to be honest. But I guess it's pretty decent for somebody who likes that car. You got a nice PT Cruiser here, no body damage, looks like okay, yeah, no body damage. Pretty clean little PT. You might be able to get this thing for cheap, cheap. I don't see no miles or nothing on the window, so it might not even start. Might not start. Got a little Mustang. Yeah, stay away from those. Mustangs are uh, crash bandits. We got a nice little 760 here. No power. Got a little uh, security slash police truck or whatever. Has the lights on this thing. But if you see in the front, this is a Toyota Tacoma and it ripped right off the freaking uh, rebar. So that may be no good, no good, but I'm sure it still starts and runs because it was a pretty clean swipe. So you might be good there. This thing right now, this Chevy Equinox, is actually on a buy now as well. 121,000 miles. Inside looks, could be better. Could be better. No battery, no power on me, typical. But the body does look fair. Nothing wrong with the body. You're good there, so your biggest bet is worrying about the engine. The battery's dead, so yeah, that's that. Got an old school right here, like old old school. This is a a Cordala. What? I don't know. Let me not get to just making up names now. But yeah, we're gonna go check out some trucks, guys. I think that's what you guys want to see. Some trucks. Look at this biohazard car. They must have went through the roof or something. It's crazy. This was a pretty bad crash. Took it all the way back to the roof, boy. Yeah. Damn. Now look at that. See, like these biohazards, they just stink so bad. You never know. People's probably died in most of these cars out here. So just remember, guys, to stay blessed, you know could all be worse 
and this thing right here is on buy now i believe for like seventy five hundred dollars seventy five hundred dollars for this range rover here comes the f-18s again sitting on flat tires and stilts. Yeah, it's two of them. They flying. There might be even three. It's loud, boy. Look at this uh Dodge Durango right here. I believe this is on a buy now too. I forget the price on you get the line. But yeah, that's uh it's not gonna work for me not gonna work for me buddy but this one is a buy now too this one is like maybe about a thousand or something the door is locked on it and they got some pretty decent vans out here like this is a pretty decent van it's a newer ford won't need too much body work the doors on these things are locked towards the back end of the thing Oh, we got one unlocked. Okay, you can't see back there. It's all covered in. Look at this truck. This looks like a pretty decent Silverado lifted up. Let's see. Uh, oh, and this is the Duramax diesel. Oh, damn. They took everything out this joint. Seats and all. It's crazy. So if you want a Silverado with no seats, you want to put your own custom seats in it, I guess this will be perfect. I don't know if it runs. We can see. Oh, yeah, the whole thing is gone. So, yeah, this is going to be a no-go. If it was just seats, I probably wouldn't mind it. But it looks like it's more than seats. Another van here. This is E350. So I need a tire there. not bad at all not bad at all this van is gonna go for pretty cheap i'm sure of it vans now damn that's like a fucking 20 seater passenger van so whoever asked me about vans there you go more trucks more burnt up toast And yeah, guys, most of this we've seen last week, so we're just going to keep it flowing here. Remember the van? Really like that thing. Scooby-Doo. Cool little Ram. Yeah. And guys, if I wouldn't buy it myself, I'm not going to stop and look at it. So, But this one seems like it would be pretty decent if it was cleaned up. 148,000 miles. Pretty uh, worn in the interior pretty worn it is the four by four but you might get it for cheap so if you want that you can check that out oh they have a newer ram back here newer ram reezy shout out tall guy reviews man he's been doing his thing motivated me to go hard with my channel man so uh yeah this seems like a pretty good buy too the damage on this isn't bad 124,000 miles you're gonna need an airbag there but I mean, once you get the airbag, you're pretty much good to go. You got the workbench in the back. U.S. Marines. It's a good sticker to have on a car that you're buying. You kind of know that uh, that was a little bit uh, respectable of the car. And it's not too jacked up. But dang, look at this Colorado. This thing is burnt to crisp. Glass melted. Everything. They wasn't playing. That thing was burnt, burnt, daddy-o. Sheesh. Sheesh, God. Another Ram. Wow. This uh, little Beamer has had it. It has some slotted rotors on it. Damn. They got brakes and stuff in here. That's crazy. Books. It's just crazy seeing the aftermath of some of these cars. They got the old Snoop Dogg Cadillac. Ooh. Yeah. 
we turn this thing into a low low. Remember that GLA we seen earlier? This is the burnt version of it. Damn. All that Mercedes Benz just gone. All that Mercedes. This ain't a Mercedes no more, dawg. Mercedes gone, gone, dawg. Damn. Got him. Now this Nissan Titan look like it's had it, boy. Look like they flipped over the ditch. All type of stuff. I hope they was all right, cause that looked like that kind of hurt it. This looks really bad. A bunch of like mud. They were mudding. That looks really like they had a bad day. But you got the new uh, Tahoe here, or Suburban rather. New Suburban. A little bit of front end damage. Not too, not too much for this truck, cause it's gonna be worth about 40K. Still with everything, airbags. Nothing too crazy in here. Easy fix. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment on the video. More of these will be coming out every week here. And stay tuned for the new build. We're trying to figure out exactly what we want to get, but a new build is coming here in the next couple days. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't skip those ads. It helps me out a lot. And peace.